everyone, I'm Gina. St Andrew is a patron saint of Scotland and St Andrew's Day is celebrated on the 30th of November. It is Scotland's National Day. In this lesson, you're going to learn about St Andrew and how his day is marked. The 30th of November is a public holiday in Scotland, but it was only recently made so. In what year did the Scottish Parliament make it a bank holiday? We'll show you the answer at the end of this video. St. Andrew was one of the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ and one of the closest to Christ. St. Andrew is said to have been present at the Last Supper. He is the patron saint of Scotland because legend states that some of his remains were taken to Scotland during the 4th century to a town now known as St. Andrew's. The flag of Scotland is a white cross on an X orientation on a blue background. This cross, or the saltire, is known as the cross of St. Andrew because when he was crucified, he refused the regular cross and was instead bound to an X-shaped cross. Scotland's flag is said to be the oldest, most continuously used flag design in the world, but the truth of that is open to debate and difficult to prove. St. Andrew's Day is a celebration of all things Scottish. In the capital city, Edinburgh, there is a week-long celebration with traditional Cayley dancing, Scottish food and bagpipe playing. Glasgow holds a big shindig or party to mark the day. Schools have special events and demonstrate things such as dancing and poetry. The 30th of November is designated as an official flag day in Scotland. This means that every building with a flagpole must fly the flag of Scotland on that day. And now I'll give you the answer to the earlier quiz. The 30th of November is a public holiday in Scotland, but it was only recently made so. In what year did the de-evolved Scottish Parliament make it a bank holiday? It was made a public holiday in 2006, so those north of the border get a public holiday for their patron state, but those south of the border in England and Wales do not. How was this lesson? Did you learn something interesting? Does your country have official flag days? Leave us a comment at EnglishClass101.com and we'll see you in the next lesson.